Hello, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, we have taken the pleasure of explaining how you can test a fuel pump out of the car before installing it. You would also be learning different ways you can test a fuel pump. But before we continue, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like, and share this video. One of the ways by which you can test a fuel pump before you proceed to install it is by attaching 12 volts to it. On the other hand, you could just test it by getting a container of gas, hooking up the hose, and dropping the pump into the container. You would then have to hook up a gauge to observe the amount of pressure being produced, or you could simply aim the hose back into the container if you only want to see it pump gas. However, we strongly caution you to be very careful as gas is highly volatile and could cause severe damage. We still recommend using the first option of hooking 12 volts and seeing if the car would run. You can test a fuel pump before installing it by using a multimeter. Here, you have to observe the continuity of the connector and motor windings as you use them. If the pump is working well, then the resistance of the windings should be reading between 2 ohms and about 10 ohms. Testing a fuel pump with a battery is a possible and recommended idea. It is more or less the way of testing your car fuel pump before installing it. However, you can test your car fuel pump with a battery even after installing it. All you have to do is check for plus 12 volts between the top of fuse 32. The aim is to provide 12 volts directly to the pump and totally bypass the normal process of the ECU receiving the signal from the CPS for FP to function. If there is nothing wrong with your CPS, ECU, and FP relay, then you should notice the plus 12 volts. However, if there is a problem with your FP or you have bad wiring, the pump will most likely not run. If the test works well, you can hear the fuel pump running from inside your car, provided your windows are up. If you lift the rear seat bottoms, you may have a chance to listen to them closely. How to test a fuel pump without a pressure gauge? There may be absolutely no reason to test a fuel pump without a pressure gauge. To some people, it may sound absurd and most likely impossible. However, we will explain how you can test your fuel pump without a pressure gauge. For this test, you may need the ECM used to harness the control of the pump. You will find a two-wire oil pursuit switch at the back of the distributor fitted off the brass fitting that is screwed into the china wall. You need to connect it with the oil pressure sending unit for the dash gauge. This would be a one-wire unit. Thereafter, you must test the fuel pump by disconnecting the rubber supply line and jumping the fuel pump relay. This fuel pump relay will resemble the fan relay. However, it is necessary that you can distinguish which wire is which by tracing them. Usually, the fan relay wire should be on the left. Conclusively, ensure that the fuel flows while the pump works. In this way, you would be able to test your fuel pump without a fuel pressure gauge. How to check fuel pump pressure without a pressure gauge? Indeed, you can check your fuel pump pressure without a pressure gauge. This can be done using a tire gauge. However, there is the risk of unexpected ignition as the material in the gauge is very much compatible with gasoline. We do not fully recommend this, but if the situation is urgent, you can carefully try it for high and low fuel pump pressure. You should also keep in mind that there could be inaccuracies in your test result. After all, tire gauges are designed for the purpose of checking the pressure in tires. It is better to check for fuel pump pressure the right way with a pressure gauge or simply take it to a professional to test it for you. How to test high pressure fuel pump? Do you know that high pressure fuel pumps can be quite bad? This is why it is important to know the symptoms that would notify you of a potential problem with your high pressure fuel pump. These are the signs that would alert you of a bad high pressure fuel pump colon 1. Difficulty in starting the car or ignition. 2. When you notice frequent stalling at high temperatures. 3. Hearing whining noises coming from your fuel tank. 4. When your engine begins to sputter as you drive at high speed. 5. Vehicle surging. 6. When you experience low gas mileage. 7. When your car loses power under stress, such as moving up a hill or carrying a heavy load. Here are the steps to guide you in carrying out a high-pressure fuel pump test. This method is called the electricity method. 1. Find the fuse that corresponds to the fuel pump and inspect it. 2. Check the voltage from the fuel pump itself. 3. Use a voltmeter to carry out a drop test. You can also use the fuel pressure gauge method. Here are the steps colon 1. Get a pressure gauge. 2. Hook up the hose to the fuel pump. 3. Get someone to help you rev the engine while you observe the gauge. 
In conclusion, this is all there is to know about testing a fuel pump before installing it, testing a fuel pump with a battery, testing a fuel pump without a pressure gauge, and testing a high pressure fuel pump. We hope you have benefited from the knowledge shared with you here in this video. This is all we've got in today's video. I hope this video was helpful to you. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like, and share this video. Thanks for watching. See you next time.